Today on the Beam channel, I want to introduce a topic from distributed systems, the CRDT. But before I, we start, I'd like to say if you and your team are interested in getting started with Erlang or Elixir, I do training for teams around the world, so I'll happily come to your site and teach you how to, how to get started. Uh, there's a calendar link in below if you, want to get, if, you want, if you want to get in touch with me. As you move into distributed systems, you will find that you have cases where a sequence of events that happen on two different nodes, and each node is different due to difference in timing, due to difference due to network faults. It's only possible but likely that two nodes will receive, will receive events in different orders or even have some events make it to one node but not the other. This can happen due to network latency, network partition, other kinds of faults, or simply due to the speed of light. As such, our system must be, find ways to deal with data inconsistency. We could just, with a two-phase commit or the like, but that quickly breaks down as the system scales. We also don't want to take an approach that the last write wins because it's basic, it is possible to lose data that way, both because it is possible that an event will reach one node and not another, as well as the fact that synchronizing clocks across nodes is actually, rather, is actually very hard. And as your timing constraints get tighter, it gets even more difficult and to, to flat out impossible. So one way we can solve this problem is use a class of data structures that are known as CRDTs, or conflict-free replicated data types. There are a number of known CRDTs out there, and this is an area of active research in universities. But let's take a simple one, the grow-only set. This could represent, say, a user history and a list of items or web pages a user has visited. An item in the set represents a page that the user has seen. Now, if there's a network partition, make it a case where the, the node A has the user visiting one item and node B does not. Well, we can resolve that simply by taking the union of the two sets. This operation is communicative, so it does not matter which of the nodes has which items. They, it, you know, union is union. You can do it as many times as you want. It doesn't matter. And also sets do not preserve order, so that doesn't matter. A somewhat more complex case is a set from which we can both add and remove items. Now, if you can add and remove as many items as you want, this actually becomes more difficult because if an item is present in one, not the other, you don't know, has it been added to A or added then removed from B? How about we limit to just adding and removing once per value? Then it's actually just two grow sets, like we've already discussed, one of since items been added, one of them since removed. So you can just take the union of both sets and then subtract one from the other. There are plenty of other CRDTs out there that are more complicated, but they're beyond the scope of this video. We can take a look at the Wikipedia page and it'll introduce you to a number of them. If that was useful, I will have more videos on distributed systems coming up, so please subscribe down below and feel free to leave, get in contact. And if you'd like more information on CRDTs, look at the Wikipedia page, there's lots of good references there.